I've made a little modification to the uh, gimbal on my DJI Phantom. I, gu I guess I, uh, I did a search on YouTube for, um, for the gimbal that I have. I have the H4 3D gimbal on, on my Phantom 2. It's, for the, it's specifically for the Hero 4. So I did a search on that and I found a video where they showed you how to modify the gimbal or your camera if you were putting a Hero 4 on the H3 3D, which is made, or the H3, yeah, the H3 3D, which is specifically made for the H, the Hero 3. So, I didn't realize there was any difference. I mean, to me, a GoPro is a GoPro is a GoPro. And I guess, I guess that's wrong. Because uh, I found out that the Hero 4 is a little bit heavier than the Hero 3, and that could affect the gimbal. So, this guy had the video. He... He was showing you how to modify your your Hero 4 on the H3 3D. You had to add a little bit of weight on the end of the gimbal so that the camera would balance. And they were talking about the um, they were talking about the um, the gimbal wearing out because it has to do extra work to make up for the, the extra weight to or the, the lack of extra weight to the one side of the camera. So that made me think, you know, what about mine? Mine, lean, I mean, they were showing how it would lean without the weight and that kind of, before you turn it on. And mine does that. But I have a Hero 3 on the H4 3D, so my camera is a little bit too light. So the gimbal leans to the side of the gimbal instead of leaning to the side of the camera, like the uh, Hero, the, putting the Hero 4 on the H3 3D. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? I actually asked the guy on the video, but the, his video was probably six months old to a year old, so um, I didn't ex really expect an answer, and I haven't gotten one yet. So I said, well, let me see what I can do. So I'm going to show you what I did in this video, and um, it, it took all of 30 seconds for me to do it. So I'm going to do a quick little video and show you what I did, and um, uh, I'm going to show you how I did this, um, how I did this mod to the... Uh, the Hero, my Hero 3 uh, Black and the gimbal, uh, the H4 3D gimbal on my FM. Okay, what you see here is all you need for this modification. Like I said, I'll show you a picture, but you can also see that the gimbal, when you let go of it, falls down. That's because it's weighted for a Hero 4 camera which is a little bit heavier. So if this camera was a little bit heavier it, it would sit like this even though the gimbal is not powered. So when you power the gimbal the gimbal is, has extra work to do to try and keep the camera straight when it, when it wants to do that. So that's, that's what this modification is for. So I've got here two washers and I'll show you pictures so you can see them better. These washers are from the, the bolts for a, uh, t to mount a, um, to replace a toilet. That's what, that, that's what they're for. They go on, they go to hold the toilet down when, when you install a toilet. I just remodeled my bathroom, so I had, I had some left, leftover parts, and this is what was around. So I put these on a scale, and I'll show you that too. I put these on a scale, and the two washers and, and the tie wrap, they weigh two-tenths of an ounce. So they're not very heavy, but now he, what, he, what he does in his video, he shows you to tape a dime to this side of the gimbal because when you put the Hero 4 on the H3 3D, the camera has a tendency to do that because the Hero 4 is heavier than the Hero 3. So he tapes a dime to this end of the gimbal is what he does. Or... He, I guess he sticks some type of adhesive on it and puts it on there. Well, what I my, what my plan was originally was just to take this off here, unplug here. There's your um, there's the uh, power going to the camera, and put these on here like that. Well, what I thought was that could be a bad idea because as you can see. This is your contact for the camera. Now I'm guessing this outside, it's probably ground. So if that's the case, I'm not sure you want to have metal washers <laughs> touching it when you have it plugged into your camera like that. 
See how the metal's exposed right there? Here, I'll turn it so you can see a little bit. See how the metal's exposed? And that's what the washers, that's what the washers would be touching is this right here. I didn't want to short out either the camera or the, uh, well, the fan was flying. I didn't want to have a short on that and, and have it come crashing down on me. So that's how I got the idea for this. What I, what I, what I did was, and I already made one. I, I used it yesterday. It works great. Take your uh, tie wrap with your two washers, put it through, and just start it to lock it like that. And then put it over this. And then you can plug that into your camera. You can see it. And then you, you just got to snug up on this so that it's, it's, it's just hanging. You don't want to make it too tight because you're, you're liable to crimp the wire. So you just want to make it so that it's about like that. So it's just hanging off there. And then uh, snip the extra off. And I'll show you. You can see already that it's already sticking up a little bit. But it, if you straighten the camera out, it stays straight. See? It might even sag a little bit to that side. <laughs> but um, I think it's pretty balanced. See? It's, it, stay, it's, it stays straight. So when you turn it on, which I'll do here. Camera turns, camera turns on. Gimbal does its thing, and there you go. You can see, this is the angle I have the camera aimed at. I have the camera aimed down. This is only a Phantom 2, so it, it, I'm not able to move the camera. But you can see, there's the weights hanging right there. So I don't hear the I don't hear the the gimbal, which I had heard before I put it on. I don't hear the gimbal trying to make to make up for the extra weight so there you go that's what I wanted to show you so I'm gonna put up a little bit of a video of what I shot before the the sprinkler came too so enjoy and uh, once again I, I thank those who watch my videos and especially my subscribers and uh, those who like my videos and um, and also those who make comments uh, comments are always welcome as I always say uh, good or bad I do appreciate your comments um, and your questions so um, I appreciate you watching this video and I hope it was helpful and uh, thanks and have a great day. Bye.